President Donald Trump fiercely defending his decision to fire FBI Director James Comey. The president is vowing to replace him with someone who will bring back the spirit and prestige of the FBI. There's strong reaction from both Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill. Correspondent Jason Calvi will bring us that story in a moment. First, Wyatt Goolsby reports from the White House. Good evening, Wyatt. Lauren, good evening. President Trump says Republicans and Democrats will soon be thanking him for firing FBI Director James Comey. Last night's surprise announcement comes amid an FBI investigation into contacts between Trump's election campaign and Russia. The president says the reason is simple. He wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. President Trump addressed reporters in the Oval Office, where he was joined by former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. The White House says the president heeded the recommendation of the deputy attorney general and wants an FBI director who is impartial and not political. Jim Comey had lost the confidence of people at the FBI, people on both sides of the partisan aisles. Comey's firing throws into question the future of the FBI's investigation into Trump's campaign's possible connections to Russia. The president calls those investigations a hoax and denies any involvement with the Russians. After his inauguration, President Trump welcomed Comey with open arms. Oh, and there's James. He's become more famous than me. <laughs> but Trump criticized Comey for not pressing charges against rival Hillary Clinton after a probe into her use of a private email server while Secretary of State. Clinton's campaign manager says while he wasn't happy with how Comey handled the investigation, firing Comey is wrong. The president and his attorney general, both of whom potentially are implicated in this investigation, made a decision to fire him, okay? And they did so without appointing a special prosecutor to oversee this case. Comey was nominated by President Barack Obama for the FBI post in 2013 to a 10-year term. Today, the White House says it wants the FBI to finish its investigation into Russia interference in the 2016 election. Spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders says the administration encourages Congress to complete the investigation so that it will be proven that there is no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Sanders says the White House does not think appointing a special prosecutor is necessary. Lauren? Wyatt, let's move forward. Who can we expect to replace the FBI director? Lauren, the search is on for both short and long-term replacements. Comey's deputy FBI veteran, Andrew McCabe, is now acting director of the FBI, and President Trump will meet with him later today. But Attorney General Jeff Sessions and senior leaders at the Justice Department are interviewing additional candidates to do the interim job until a successor is nominated by the president. Lauren? Wyatt Goldsby at the White House. Thank you, Wyatt. Democratic lawmakers are united in demanding a special prosecutor pick up the investigation into Russian meddling in the U.S. election. But Republicans say they're being hypocrites. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi continues our team coverage. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. More than a dozen Republican senators have also voiced concerns about the firing. But the Senate Majority Leader is echoing the White House's stance. And Vice President Mike Pence came here to defend the firing, as many lawmakers have big questions tonight. Democrats voicing outrage over President Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey. This is what the president is deeply insecure about. He feels the dragnet tightening on the Russia investigation. I believe that's why he's let Comey go. So we need a special prosecutor to pick up the criminal investigation. And some Republicans have their own concerns, including the chair of the Senate panel investigating Russian meddling into the fall election. The timing of it and, and the reasoning of it make no sense to me. But Republican leadership backed the White House, shutting down talk of appointing a special prosecutor for the Russia investigation. If a special prosecutor takes over and there's no prosecution, you're never going to know what went on in the investigation. Our Democratic colleagues complaining about the removal of an FBI director whom they themselves repeatedly and sharply criticized. That removal being done by a man, Rod Rosenstein, whom they repeatedly and effusively praised. Vice President Mike Pence came to Capitol Hill today to defend the move, calling it the right decision at the right time. Uh, there is no evidence uh, of collusion uh, between, uh, between our campaign and, and any Russian officials. That's but not what, but let me, let me be clear with you. That was not what this is about. It was time for a fresh start at the FBI. 
The Senate Intelligence Committee has asked ousted Director Comey to testify behind closed doors next week. The acting FBI director will take Comey's spot in a public hearing on threats to the U.S. scheduled for tomorrow. The confirmation of the next FBI director requires a simple majority here in the Senate. Lauren? How unprecedented or precedented, I guess, is this firing, Jason? Only the second time in history a president has fired the FBI director. President Clinton fired J uh, Director uh, William Sessions back in 1993 because of allegations of ethical problems. Thank you so much. Jason Calvey reporting from Capitol Hill.